Hello. Hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I am an Illumin Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. How are you today? In today's video, I want to talk to you about the world and some of the events that can be felt throughout the collective in the forms of waves. Now, waves are how we describe this, but this actually also involves very deep damage, deep long ago timelines that can now come to full closure. So in some ways, the element of time is affected. This is going to have uh, repercussions for people who feel like they've procrastinated on certain things that they feel like somehow they're being squeezed and pushed and prodded and the carrot and the whip effect um, because they haven't done certain things, they haven't lined certain things up. It's a very physical feeling thing. It can be felt deep within the body with uh, some of the internal organs. Those areas do also purge quite a bit. But it's the things of the mind that people have held in place for a long time. Patterns, psychological patterns, rationales for extended periods of not really the best behaviors, to say the least, and holding things in place. So how do the waves come into this? Well, if you were to take something as simple as a story written out on a piece of paper, and then folded it so it could be neatly compacted and brought to a place where it's possible to get some of this deep healing done. Now you might say, why here? Why the world? Why the world? Because this is a place, first of all, where the decision is made to be. And next, it has been also where some of the deepest damage has sort of come and affected uh, this planet and, in fact, affected uh, the system, many of the systems. So while many people who are star seeds identify with a feeling where they could genuinely say, I don't feel very connected here. I don't feel like I belong here at all. In fact, I don't even know what I'm doing here. What's the point already? I've been here. I've been working. I don't know. What is the point if, you know, things don't move along? You're going to get uh, a push, which feels like an acceleration, but it can also make you feel like those pushes from behind where you trip. And it's not fun. It's It feels like you're unprepared. It feels like you can't find your footing and you really don't know what's coming next. There is an underlying fear here, which is the fear of the unknown because people don't know what to make of what this all is. Now, worldwide, we can agree there's a giant purging going on. And all it takes is some microbe, some little microscopic thing to bring things to a halt. And sometimes this happens personally. Sometimes it's the ripple effect, the collateral damage that happens. And sometimes it's a key element for cleaning and clearing something so that waves of people who have been stuck in a time element, literally stuck in a time warp or literally frozen in time, all of that suspended animation can start to move forward. And this is why some people will feel like, oh, And then comes along love, which then does, and someone will enliven again. But then the separation. So the separation serves to usually take different things out. Uh, sometimes it does it not easily, but I would say in a way that makes it more efficient. And if nothing else, the divine masculine and divine feminine are highly efficient. There's things that happen that you may not realize at the human level of what's happening. But you cannot just throw up your hands and say, well, I'm just going to hand it over then. This requires some equal participation. 
So what is happening worldwide? Well, we have this polarity shift. So this involves the poles, North Pole, South Pole. It's preparatory for what happens at the solstice, which is a flip. You're flipping the energies, you're flipping the polarity. It provides another one of those waves in the energy. If you were to look at this on a map, you would see that at some of the ley lines, which you have some, you know, here, you have some here, okay, you have some other ones, you would see that the energy is going like this, okay? Europe tends to lead the pack on this, particularly this area, and you have the United States, Canada um, sector here, and then it will usually, because some of the same genetic stack is here in Australia, you'll have an upsurge here. Now, what about these areas? These areas are upsurging while other areas are, you know, in that dip. They're in that, you know, downturn, which can feel like a compression. It can feel like a contraction, a downturn. It's not expansive. Some areas will feel expansive, expansive as they come out of these time warps. This is definitely a time for internal growth. Internal growth on the personal level means that you have to focus on expanding what's inside you. Okay, not just looking within, not just going within, not just reflecting and listening to the crickets but actually focusing on expansion, which you have to do and you have to get that up and running. Some people don't know what I'm talking about because what you're maybe taking for granted is the downloads you're receiving also require you to expand those and into something, into some form, into an expanded form of yourself, into some transformation some transformative experience. So what else is happening here? The feminine is taking charge. There is an upsurge in feminine energy, which is absolutely critical to get things rolling here. So the electric masculine worldwide has gotten things in place, things that you would see from the Industrial Revolution, from the Renaissance period from several thousand years ago. There has had to be from certain timelines a resurgence of things, time periods of enlightenment to bring things to fruition for mass numbers of people. Not just a few people, not just a few people here, not just a few people here or a few people here, but here, 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 many people here, 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 everywhere really. And when you have a global population that is very commingled, meaning these people traveled here, these people traveled here, these people traveled here, these people traveled here, 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 here. You have these people who traded and traveled here. You have people here who traveled and traded here. You have people that came here and traveled, and then some of them came over here. That's a lot of commingling of energies, of ideologies, of cultures. And all of this has sometimes taken a toll. If you look through history, if you do not have a global, wider perspective of what is happening to you, it is in those things that you understand as inner child healing, ancestral healing, polarity shifts passing some energy over to your other half so that they can accomplish what needs to get done on their side. Passing some of the energy back to you and receiving it from above so that you can get accomplished what needs to get accomplished in this very short time frame before the solstice flips the switch here. So the solstice energy will actually be starting up here and it is going to throw people for a loop unless you know how to navigate and surf in those energies, 
How would you like to become a really great surfer? Yeah, you would like to become a really great surfer. Because when you're a surfer, you gain the feel of currents, energies, what's under your feet, where the wind is, if the wind is in your face, if the wind is at your back. This is sometimes what people lose, which is actually living by their wits, living by their senses. And it is important part of the expansion that I'm referring to so that you're able to deal with it better, okay? We'll just say it like that. Dealing with some of the stuff is not always pretty. In fact, it can be downright confusing. It can be discouraging. And there's many people that throw up their hands and say, well, what's the point? And they will even throw up their hands and, and walk away from their own ascension if they believe that a person isn't paying attention to them. They stop paying attention to themselves within. They do pay attention outside and they'll walk and they'll say, well, I guess if we're not going to be in love, then I'm out. But shutting off your own ascension really isn't possible. And I'm here to attest to that. You can't, you can't walk away from some of this. It's going to keep popping up and keep popping up and keep popping up until you're like, there it is again. There it is again. There it is again. So to help you with some of this, you may um, find a lot of help in my book too. Twin Flame Ascension and Breath, which explains quite a bit. It also has a glossary. So is this new to you? Do you find that some of this is very daunting and you don't know, you know, what to do? You don't know what your mission is. You're hearing things and you're saying, well, I think we're supposed to have a mission. Uh, well, I think that, you know, I'm supposed to be separated. Well, there are things that you do need to know as well as that. So I do have a couple of webinars coming up. And the topics are internal communication, heart communication, and language of light. Many people don't exactly know what language of light is, but it is actually a nonverbal form of communication. And there are things to know about it because it is how true lovers communicate with each other. It's not telepathy. Telepathy deals with insufficient organs that just aren't big enough for your 5D connections. It's just that simple. Another reason for the expansion. What else? Well, I'm going to be talking about portals, gateways, retrogrades, new moon and full moon energy, and the solstice and the equinox, because these will all drive your sense of time at each turn. And that too can throw people off because a lot of people feel like they're losing time with this journey. They're losing five years, 10 years. It's been 20 years in the making. And again, they'll say, what's the point? What gives? And I'm going to say to you right now, stop saying that because you're at the point where that aspect of time, when you get into another level of it, you can cut all that time in half. It's going to be irrelevant, actually. And you may not believe that until you actually experience it. I'm going to be talking about the rising of the masculine to their proper levels so that they can be sensitive and considerate and feel. And the moral compass with this turning actually moves even deeper into place. And again, this is not this is not going to be sweet men that you already know. It's going to be some of the people where you might say, are they ever going to change? And yeah, this energy is bringing change with it in baby steps, but it is a necessity worldwide that everybody change and, you know, roll with the changes. Inner body preparation, which is in several places that you may not be aware of, which has to include your digestion. It has to include the area that I call the wing structure. There really is such a thing, just like you have legs in this level and they get you around. 
you have other parts of you that get you around in another level. And for those of you who've had flying dreams, you're going to remember some of this. Now, what about some of the stuff that has been built up or locked into time? Frozen in time. What is frozen and hidden in a lot of those lands that a lot of us come from? Bad memories. Bad memories getting archived. Emotions floating to the top and getting the lower emotions up and out. If you're trying to shove it back down, you're going to get sick and you're going to not feel well. Time to come and see me. Time to really learn how to do this stuff so that you can keep doing it and get better and better and better at it. This is not a one-on. This is not a one-time, well, you purged something and that's that. You wish it were. We all wish it were. But it's not. It took me a good two full years of actual diligence, doing my due diligence, foregoing things, refraining from things, being celibate, dreaming things, dreaming the most horrific things sometimes, healing it, and fully, fully aware the whole time. You can't roll over and play dead on this stuff. You have to be aware because... Why? Because that's how you live by your wits. And so people that try to numb it out, drug it out, smoke it out, ain't going to work that much anymore like that. If you've been in a form of suspended animation, what I call suspended animation, you will move forward. And that's a good thing because nobody wants to leave anybody stuck, least of all someone you love. You don't want to leave someone in a place where they're like frozen in time. You need to be able to continue ascending because everything you've had as a solo person has been part of that. The next part is two people's energies. So I have gifts that enable me to feel the two people's energies in the union, meaning the unification of your subtle bodies. If you don't know about your subtle bodies, if you're using your mind and you're saying things like, oh, they're a narcissist, oh, I'm going to be a junior psychologist, you're missing out. You need to open yourself up to some of the delights. There's a reason I keep talking about this. And there's a reason that I welcome new people because some of those new people, they're going to leap right over some of that stuff. They will, they'll completely bypass some of the things that other people have needed to get them by for 10 years. And it's not doesn't make them better or for worse. It's just going to be that that got people by 10 years ago. That got people by 20 years ago. And now we're in a different energetic. We're in a different vibration. We are in a different global vibration. There's a reason that some of the changes happen here because other areas have been depressed for various reasons. It's not always economic depression. It could be a setback due to famine or drought. It could be a war, recovering from war. And it can be just uh, morphic resonances, which are still getting cleared because those get cleared from a higher level. So even though people like to, you know, go visit places and you know, feel the energies here, feel the energies here, feel the energies here, feel the energies here. That's a lot of fun things. But any of the morphic resonances have already been removed and dissipated. So would you like to help with your own indigo masculine and get that cleared, healed? Sure you would. Would you like to stop being frozen in time where some of your connections are, you know, somewhere on some of these timelines and you'd like to, you know, move with this energy? Yes, you would, because you're going to be in time for a lot of things. Um, frequently, I get asked things about romance, about love. Yes, this is intended to be romantic. Now, if you, if you are in a situation where you've had life connections to other people, 
it's no different than if you were breaking up with someone right now. If you're breaking up with someone who's no longer suitable for you, naturally you would purge out some stuff before being in your new life. And that's what's happening. So we need to keep this in perspective of what it is and what it isn't and what love isn't and what love is. Love is romantic. Love is sweet. Love is nurturing. Love is playful. Love is supportive. Love communicates. And just recently in uh, the recent webinar that I did, I went through a whole list of what, you know, what to watch out for. So if you are having some issues going on with your body with ascension symptoms, if you need someone to talk to because this is very new and you'd like to know a bit about your past lives, your points of origin, where were those past lives? please use the link below and join my webinar. My webinars are intended to give support to help things move along for you, just like any of my services. Now, are you here to be in love? Yes, you are. You knew it from the time of a child. Many people do know from the time of a child. So thank you so much for watching. Please um, sign up, join, subscribe. It all helps because those of us who are working here for the light and the love, not just light workers, but I work for the light and the eternal love, please support us because that's what we're called to do. Just like some other people are called to help animals, just like some other people are called to help the environment. I'm a people person and I put things into a very easy to understand way so that we can get you moving and keep things on track. It's your ascension. Be proud of it. Be proud of yourself and get yourself leveled up where you belong so that things can keep flowing for you. Thank you. Bye.